Hello everybody, welcome to Market Masterclass on the 29th of uh, March, it's a Wednesday and we're looking at an economy in the southeast of Africa it's mostly surrounded by South Africa and it's got Mozambique on its east side uh, we're looking at the country of Swaziland total population of 1.3 million in terms of its GDP world ranking it's 157th in terms of its uh, ease of doing business in the country it's ranked 111th and it's had some major problems in the past and the fact is that the, uh, the population below the poverty line has been as high as 69% in 2006. Why is this? Because 75% of the labor force in the country is employed in the subsistence farming industry. And unemployment has been as high as 40% in the country. So there is um, a struggling population. And uh, the agricultural, forestry and mining uh, arena for the economy make up about 13% of the GDP. Um, manufacturing, which is, includes textiles and sugar related processing, is about 37%. Government services, services, mainly government services, is over 50% of the economy. So, yes, there is an export business. Talking about soft drink concentrates, sugar, wood pulp, cotton yarn, refrigerators, citrus. Uh, and canned fruits. So, uh, interesting enough, 60% of that goes to South Africa, 9% is supported by the EU, and 9% to the US, and 6% to Mozambique. Um, in the import side, 96% of imports come from South Africa, and as you'd expect from a non industrialized country, we're talking about um, vehicles, uh, machinery, transport equipment foodstuffs, petroleum, and chemicals. So, very dependent on its contact with South Africa. And uh, as other countries in Africa come into the competitive field, Swaziland uh, has to get its act together and uh, is now uh, doesn't have any special benefits which it used to have with um, areas like the EU because the EU is now sharing those benefits with other countries which are coming up in Africa because uh, Africa is looking good, Swaziland struggling and uh, it depends very much on South Africa's support so let's hope that uh, blooms and blossoms into the future and that's the economy of Swaziland. I hope you found that useful and interesting. Bye for now.